We're live. We're live. Woo, we got lots to do today. We got lots to do today. So I'm coming on a little bit early. And um, so everybody can, what is that? Oh gosh, I don't even know what I'm doing. So I had an idea and you know, it sounds good in practice. And then I get into it and I'm like, huh, what was that? Not sure what I was thinking. So I feel like there's a little bit of similar things. my milk here. Um, so welcome. Welcome. Am I, is it time yet? Oh, I got a minute. Okay. I won't welcome you yet. Um, here we go. So, um, if you could put in the chat, where are you joining us from? Just because I like to know. Um, and if you haven't noticed my hair is pink, oh, my hair is, it's kind of fading out, but I, I went pink. So, um, like it, don't like it. My hair's pink. Well, really just kind of like at the roots. I actually got it pink because I actually like the, okay, this is not the right sweat, sweater to wear for this. And I meant to change this, but here we go. Um, yeah, so I, I like the color that it turns into. I don't know. Why does this coloring look weird? Why Do I look like a cartoon character? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me adjust my light. Let's see if that's it. Maybe it's too bright, so let me try that. Is this better? No. No, that's not better. Now I look worse. Okay, maybe I just need to go brighter. Here we go. Here it is brighter. Is this better? Mm, still look kind of like, now I feel like I'm like, ah! anyway, it's probably right. We'll see. Welcome to the seventh episode of Cooking with Edmonds. So if you don't know, Edmonds is the um, cookbook of New Zealand. Looks like this. And I'm an American who has lived here for seven years. And I picked this up recently. This is in a newer version. So this is 2016. Um, and it's basically, I just went through it and was like, I haven't hardly cooked any of this stuff. And even today, even in the recipes that I'm making today, and yes, you heard me right, recipes, I have good ideas in my head and then in practice, not sure what I was thinking. So, um, yeah, so I've been going through this so you can watch the other episodes. We've made everything from Afghans. We had Chantel on last week and what the heck did we make? Uh, some sort of bar or... Um, yeah, whatever you call it here. Anyway, so um, so today I felt like cinnamon. Do you guys like cinnamon? I know it's not like the favorite spice of New Zealand, so I've heard, but maybe that's just my friends. Maybe they're weird. Um, but I love cinnamon. Americans love cinnamon. Americans love cinnamon rolls in general. So I'm going through and there's lots of choices. So we've got the um, cinnamon scrolls. We have what's called pinwheel scones, which is cinnamony. And then we have like Chelsea buns. Anyway, I was going through this and I'm like, okay, what am I going to make? So I originally was going to make um, pinwheel scones because it's basically cinnamon rolls that doesn't have to rise. But who doesn't love dough that rises, that has yeast in it? It's so much better. So we're going to do both today. We're going to do both today. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, we're going to do both today. So what, let me show you what I've done. So because this is so professional, if you don't know, this is the first ever collaborative uh, cooking show of all time. So you help me because these are not recipes I've ever made because <laughs> that makes sense. Um, and so here we go. Look at, look at this. Okay. So here is the Chelsea bun dough. So I made it this morning. It rose for two hours and I've just rolled it out here. So what we're going to do is because it has to rise again for a few, it's supposed to be 30 minutes, but we don't got time for that. So I'm, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the butter, cinnamon, spice all up on here, roll it up, put it in the thing. And then we're going to make the pinwheel scones together and we're going to cook them at the same, so then that'll be sitting for a while. And then we're going to cook them at the same time. And we're going to see which one turns out better. Um, so that's what we're doing today. So we have lots to do. So let's get started. Let me get these. Uh, what are these? Chelsea. Okay. Why are they called Chelsea buns? I got to read this. 
baked originally in the old Chelsea Bun House in London's Pimlico and enjoyed by thousands of Londoners since the early 18th century. You'll find that there's it's very British infused food here in New Zealand. Bake the Chelsea buns close together to achieve the traditional square shape. Then, oh, square shape. Oh, I have a square pan, but I have, okay, we're making a round today. We're adjusting. Okay. So, um, so we're going to get these, these Chelsea buns. I've made the dough. I've risen the dough. Da, da, da. We're going to make them, um, make the pin, make the, what am I doing? We're going to make the cinnamon roll kind of things. The buns, as I say, and then we're going to put them in here. We're going to let it rise. And then I'm going to make the pinwheel scones. So these are cinnamon roll types that you could just make very quickly without letting it rise. And then we're going to kind of compare. So that's what we're doing. Here we go. Okay. So here is the, 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 it's so beautiful. It's like, you don't even want to touch it. I've cleaned my counter, you know, as good as I can. We won't think about that too much. So what you do is you just spread the butter, just like it's got some melted butter. I just put a lot in here because I knew I was making two sets and I just never know. Um, so make sure that you put in the chat where you're joining me from. Um, and just cause I like to know, cause like people are all over the world and I love that. Um, and I never know what time is good to do this show. And really it's just kind of whenever it works for me. So sorry, I missed you last week. Uh, I don't know. All of a sudden it was Friday and like, I didn't do it. Okay. So there you butter it. And so then this is enough brown sugar for both of them. So what I'm going to do is I haven't added the cinnamon. So, it, it calls for a half a teaspoon or excuse me. Yes. One and a half teaspoons. So this is how I do it. This is how I do one and a half teaspoons. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And so it also calls for, um, like a mixed peel, which I didn't know what that was or a mixed dried fruit. So I can't do here. Let me, um, come back at you here. I can't do dried fruit because my kids are not about that. So we are just going to do brown sugar, cinnamon, and we're not going to put dried fruit because again, we're not really about that here. So we're just going to load up. So this needs a lot more cinnamon. Here we go. I'm just, this just doesn't come out very fast. That's what's actually happening. So we're just going to open this big. Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got some cinnamon now, guys. Here we go. Um, so I'm mixing it with the brown sugar. Now, um, there was like this mixed spice that it asked for. And of course, if I was organized, I would have it, but I don't. So we're going to do nutmeg. So this is what it's like baking in real life. In real life with busy families, you don't have everything you make do, but who doesn't like nutmeg? So I'm going to put some nutmeg in here. How much? I don't know. We'll just put that much in there. So we're putting the nutmeg in, the cinnamon and the brown sugar. And here we go. We're mixing it. This is what I'm doing. Mixing it. Oh, cool. Everybody's high, high, high. Mixed peel. Yeah, I've seen. Okay, so I've looked it up. Yes, thank you. I've looked it up and it's like, can't. is it like candy dry fruit? I don't know. I've seen it. I've always wondered what the heck you put use it for. I wish I would have got it now because like I've never used it. So I'll, I'm sure it'll come up in another recipe and I'll get it. So I was, truth be told, like parked in the... Um, driveway of pack and save this morning. Cause I'm like, okay. And I had my cookbook, like I'm running out the door. What am I making today? This is my life. And, um, I was looking at what to make and I had decided on some biscuits and I had everything. And so I didn't buy anything. And then it suddenly felt like cinnamon. So here we go. Cause this is the joys of baking. You can kind of make whatever you feel like. Okay. So I've mixed this really well. So let's add this. Here we go. Okay. Um, and so you want to, you want to put enough on, like, I remember when I used to make this, so this is enough for both baking. So if you, if you've just joined us, we are going to, we're making Chelsea buns. I've already had this risen. Um, and then we're going to make the pinwheel scone so you can make cinnamon rolls real quick without having to let it rise. And we'll see. I mean, just, I just love, you know, and so like, I just like to do this because then we know if I have enough everywhere and you want to go all the way to the edges. If anybody else has any tips on this. Okay. What the, oh, it's just like a big piece of brown sugar. Don't worry. It's not some random insect or animal in there. Okay. So you spread this really good. I'm smelling the nutmeg. I'm smelling the cinnamon. So I'm feeling like it's enough, but you know, Who's to say you could always add more? 
So we are going to be in cinnamon world for a while. Now, the reason why I'm okay with making so much today, I will tell you in a minute. Hold on. I'm focused. I'm focused. I can only do this. Okay. So then it says to roll it up from, from the long edge. So it's a little bit easier. So don't judge me. I haven't done this in like ages. So here we do what we can. So you want to keep it pretty tight because it ends up getting pretty thick pretty quick. Um, is what I recall from making cinnamon rolls before. So we are going to roll this up like that. Ooh, this is so beautiful and it's rolling up nice. And thank you for that because I am on YouTube. Okay. Um, okay, that side, not so much. So we're going to cut from that side. So you want to get a um, really good knife. So there we go. Cutting board. So I don't. I'm a renter. So let's let's be let's be good renters today. Okay. Um, let me get a good knife. Here we go. You want a nice big knife because you want a nice good cut. So I always cut like that little end piece off so it turns out nicer. And you're like this. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Like this. Like this. Look at this. These are beautiful. I'm just feeling really good about this. So I'm going to get one of my things and I am going to... Da, da, da. Look at this. Look at this. So these are going to rise a little bit more because this was made with yeast. Um, and it'll probably be the better ones. Let's just be honest. Let's stop pretending that without yeast, it's it's okay. It's just really not. So, um, so yeah. Is this even... Oh, it's weird. It seems like it would make a lot. Maybe I'm cutting them too big. Am I cutting them too big? It's... Okay. Just trying to get this to stay. Can you see what I'm doing? You can see what I'm doing. Sorry, I forgot that I'm on TV. Okay. Not TV, the internet, whatever. Okay. Okay, here we go. Cinnamon rounds. And then we're going to let this rise. It says 30 minutes, but, you know, we do what we can. It's been, it has already risen for a lot. I don't know. This one looks ugly, but I am just going to put it in there. So it doesn't quite fill up the whole thing, but we'll be good. So um, it says to put it in a warm place, which it's not warm in Wellington today. It is freezing and high winds. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put it to the side and let it rise a little bit. Generally, what I normally do um, to, to warm is like uh, maybe if you have a dryer, I put it in that room or I generally turn my oven on low and then just turn it off. And then I put it in there because it's airtight and it rises fast. But my my um, it is preheating right now, so we won't be doing that. OK, so should we try the dough? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm, cinnamon. -y. Yes. That's what we're looking for. Okay, sorry, I'm just cleaning this up. So while that's rising, those were the chelsea buns. Now we're gonna make pinwheel scones. So you can make cinnamon deliciousness like, um, oh my gosh, that's good. I haven't eaten lunch, so I'm hungry. Um, so you can make it fast. Okay, so here we go, pinwheel scones. Let me show you what I'm doing. <laughs> Here we go. Don't look at the mess. Don't look at it. Okay. So what we do is we have three cups of flour, um, four and a half teaspoons of baking powder, um, half a, a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Um, I have milk and I have butter. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in here. We're going to churn it up with my fingers with the butter. And I've washed my hands all good, so don't worry. And then we just roll it out just like we did the last one. So I didn't want to do everything. I wanted to for you to be involved in it. Now, I am, I'm going to, it's an honesty moment. It's an honesty moment. Um, I might not have had enough baking powder. So we're going to do, we're going to do it. We're going to hope that this rises and doesn't look ridiculous. Um, whoo, okay. And no, my super fan who's always here saying, did you get a new one of these things to, um, Sift the flour. No, I haven't. I am still working with, I shouldn't do it on that side because I'm going to cut myself because that's where it's broken. Okay, here we go. Sifting it through. Not sure why it's taking forever. What the heck? 
Well, it's working. It's just taking a bit. Okay, cool. So let's do the rest. So this is the three cups of flour, the salt, and um, okay, okay, okay. And uh, what else was it? The salt. Oh, and the baking powder, which I had just. Uh, so we hope that it works. I cannot find all the stuff to make homemade baking powder, which is apparently um, corn, like baking soda, corn starch, and cream of tartar. And I know I have cream of tartar, but I can't seem to find it. So here we are. This is how it is when like you have teenagers and people are cooking and they're putting things in weird places. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is, I need to get a new one of these. I'm going to Kmart this weekend. I will be getting a new one of these. So you will see it on the next show. There it is. There it is. Okay. Boom. So then you're going to put the butter in and you can use like a, uh, I like to do it this way because this way I get all the butter divided evenly, like actually evenly. Um, so we can chat because it's going to take me a minute. Um, and so I'm just going to be churning this butter through this flour and it's just, it's just, it's just something that you need in your day. You need to touch flour like this. It just feels great. And you know, something different. Although, um, yeah, my fingers get tired because I don't do this very much. I type a lot, but yeah. So, okay. I'm just going to read where everybody's from. We're from Pennsylvania, Christchurch, Wellington. I know it's not a great mixed peel. Yes. Thank you. I need to try. Um, that's an awful lot of nutmeg. Yes. Sorry. Um, it's for the two batches though. So it's not just for one. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, maybe it was. Um, the <laughs> things are busy. Yes. Cream it. Um, uh, let's see. It doesn't call the cream anything. So, um, here we go. So we're almost done. We're getting all of that butter sorted and then I will rinse my hands. Then we're going to add the milk and then we're going to turn the dough out. So, um, yeah. So the reason why I'm also making all of this is because my, my close friend is, um, had surgery this week and I'm going to visit her tomorrow. So I wanted to bring her something nice. Um, so, um, she has cancer. It's hard and it's going well, everything's going well. So that's positive, but yeah, I've just thought, I think she'll like these. So she's an American as well. Here we go. Um, so I hope those other ones rise. I don't think I can give it a whole 30 minutes, but we'll see. Should be okay. Da, da, da. Okay, here we go. So we are going to add the milk. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Maybe I'm trying to do too much at once. And then um, use my favorite spoon. Do you guys have like a favorite spoon in your kitchen? I, there's always that one that's your go-to, you know? So this, I'm just gonna lightly mix it. And then I'm gonna put some flour on my surface. Hopefully I have some, cause right now, my computer is sitting on top of my flour. So here we go. So I'm just kind of getting it so it's not so liquidy because um, it gets hard to, to knead when it's so liquid. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting. This doesn't call for any eggs. So if you have egg allergy, this one's good. Um, but the other one did. The other one had an egg or two. So I think just one, one egg. So here we go. Um, so there's the dough. Ba, ba, ba. Let me put out some flour. La, la, la. Da, da. Flour the surface, and then we'll just kind of plop this out and, and knead it a bit. And then we'll roll it out, and it will be ready. Hmm. Look at this. All these recipes are now getting a little bit more complicated, aren't they? So I found some flour, obviously, so that's good. <laughs> I forgot I had thought of that. Look at that, I thought of that. Okay, so um, how is everyone? Everyone good? I'm just, you just wanna get it um, mixed enough. It doesn't have to be overly mixed. Um, 
but yeah, it's turning out really nice. I can tell it's turning out good guys, gals, everyone. Um, Gosh, what's been going on with me? So there will be no episode next week because I will be at Volleyball Nationals up in Palmerston North. So if you're up in Palmy, um, come see me at the gym. That's where I'll be living. Or the whatever sports center. I can't remember what it's called. Okay. What is, I'm just, this is like, I'm just going to use a little bit more flour. Just a little bit more flour would be good. It's still sticky on my hands, um, but my computer is sitting up on it here. This is just left from the, look at this. I didn't even get all this. Needs to be in there anyway. Um, sometimes when my kids bake, they like, like I look at um, the pan, you know, they don't scrape it with like a, a scraper. And it's like, literally you could have a whole other cake is still in there. Uh, okay, cool. Let's roll this out. Ooh, trying to get this off my hands. Okay, so let's roll this out and then we'll do the same process. And hopefully I don't have too much nutmeg. So hopefully I can do this. If I need more flour, I may have to move you guys. Hmm, it is a bit, oh yeah, that's getting quite sticky. Ah, oh. yeah, it's getting quite sticky. So here we go. Before my hands get too crazy, let me move you guys over here. Ba, ba, ba. This is called being flexible. And let me move this. Here, let's put some flour in here. I thought that would have been enough, but it's obviously not. Okay, here we go. And we're back. Okay. And we're back. So I can put some more flour on here. This will be much better. I'm just also worried that it's going to stick. Which, oh, yes, it is sticking. So let's just make sure that we get enough flour on here to roll this out. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Oh, I didn't put the books back. Because I have such a professional setup here that I like have you guys piled up on all different things. <laughs> So we're gonna do that um, just because this is quite sticky. I'm putting some extra on there. There we go, there we go. It's working out nice, really nice. So you wanna, it's weird because like you gotta try to make this square. And it, and it's, and it says the thickness, like 20 something. Um, and I was like, okay, who like really measures the thickness? Maybe if you were doing this for a living, but. Sorry, I'm going to have to move you back a bit. Okay. Because this dough is still growing, but it's not in the shape of a square. So let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Any, well, I can't read you. My hands are full of whatever. So we might just say good enough. This is home cooking, everyone. This is home cooking. Okay. Move, move. Push it a little bit farther that way. I just want to make sure that it's, you know, we could do it like that. It'll be a bit thicker in different parts. That should be okay. All right, let me rinse my hands. And here we go. Clean towel. And so we got, you can use the butter. Da, da, da. You guys, I almost did not find this brush. Like I have this one. It might be easier if I just like kind of pour it. There we go. Um, won't take as long. So this one is a bit bigger. So, mm, butter, can you have too much butter? No. So I've talked to Christy um, and I'm hoping to get her on the show at the end of the month. So Christy is coming hopefully. Um, she's hilarious in the kitchen. She sends me lots of videos in the kitchen. It's going to be good. Like it's going to be classic and probably should be like every week if I could work it out, but I don't really make any money on this channel. So I can't, you know, what can I use to like motivate you? Not sure. So I'm just going to sprinkle the, if you're just joining us, it's I really wanted 
cardamom. Is that how you say it? Um, that is just a really nice spice. I thought I had some. Apparently I don't. So we have cinnamon and nutmeg and brown sugar in this. Mm, looks nice though. Might not reach completely to the corners as much as I would like here. You know, this is what happens when you do double batches. You know, oh, it's working. It's, it's, it's working. Okay, cool. So let's, okay. Is this going to stick to the, okay. Okay. Sticking a bit. So let's see. Um, it might have to be a bit putsy. Might have to take my time here. Okay. You guys are probably like screaming at me with like tips and I'm not even looking. So how collaborative is this? Um, it was really great having Chantel because she could look at the questions and the comments as I was doing something. So, but no, this is, this is low budget. This is, this is low budget. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna, it's going well. It's just going to take me a minute to get this rolled up. I'm getting it. It's just sticking a little bit. So Ugh. don't underestimate the value of flour. That's the lesson here, everyone. Cause you know, we think, oh, it's just flour, but it's critical here. So this looks like a lot bigger. So these are going to come out I think nicer. And this is like, I just made it and we can cook it right away. So here we go. So close guys. I'm getting there. We're getting there. Patience is a virtue. Just remember that maybe not on YouTube, but everybody talks so fast. You know how they like edit everything out. And I used to do that, but yeah, now I can't be bothered. Okay, cool. So um, and we do the same thing. Um, it looks like a, I don't know, crazy lizard dude. Okay, here we go. Um, oh yeah, I don't want to cut on, cut on this. Don't worry, you didn't hear that. You didn't, you didn't hear that. Mm -mm. So we're just gonna. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so I have, just so you know, greased this. So, you know, I did think ahead on that. So this looks really good. This looks like I maybe didn't have enough flour. So come on, come on, come on, like crazy sea creature. Looks like. So yeah, you got to be able to cut through very easily because you don't have time if the dough sticks. Just do this. Here we go. These are going to be so good. It's like they smell amazing. I wish you could smell. I mean, isn't that going to be social media at some point where we're going to have more than just, you know, visual and auditory? There's going to be smell. There's got to be smell. And if you could invent it, you're the winner. You are the winner. All right. I'm going to try to fit three more here. So this is looking real good. Um, yeah, so the dough looks like I may have been able to add a little bit more flour so you can look at it. This is so professional looking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's go check my other. Um, okay, so they, oh, they've risen a little bit actually, because remember how low they were. So this is the Chelsea buns and this is the pinwheel scones. Um, and they both cook at 200 degrees for about 12 minutes. So we're just gonna go 10 because you guys know my oven's hot. And I'll put you up. Uh, here we go. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, see, because I got to put some books under there. Here we go. So let's put it in the oven. Now these barely fit. So you don't want to, you don't really want to put one. So yeah, just shove it in. Just shove it in. That's what you do. Okay, let me wash my hands and then I'll make you guys higher and we can have a chat. Oh, hold on. Let me put the uh, timer on. Ooh. Okay, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, okay. All right, I have these big books that I'm going to put you on. Oh, here we go. This is so professional. Um, okay, here we go. Looks like. 
looks delicious. Look, you guys are so fast. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the last batch, but you know, the dope. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh no, the dough tastes right. It's just it doesn't have enough flour. It just tastes. What is that? Did that go into the butter? Ugh. Anyway. So do you guys generally put icing on your whatever cinnamon rolled up balls? Because I do. So some of the recipes said to do powdered sugar. No. Um, and another one said like, so I have some sugar here. I thought we could make this. Um, and then all I do is I just have powdered sugar and I put some vanilla in there and then I'll add a little bit of milk and we'll pour that on. Um, I beg for you. Okay. Do I play netball? Um, are you asking me this? Um, hold on. Oh, really? What are we cooking? We are cooking two things, pinwheel scones and Chelsea buns. One has yeast in it, and one is just, just doesn't. So we'll see. If they don't turn out perfect, it doesn't matter. People will eat them because it's basically flour, sugar, cinnamon, butter, nutmeg, and who doesn't love that? It's going to taste good. So let me, I'm just trying to clean this up so that, um, yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> so here we are. So um, let's chat. What's going on? Uh, it's been crazy, crazy busy for me. Sorry, did you hear that over the, over the, over the water? It's crazy busy for me, but I'm enjoying everything I'm doing. Um, it's pretty much our busy season, but. Um, okay, I'm just going to try to get it off. Oh, boy, this is... I needed more flour. Ugh. Okay, okay. The winds in Wellington have been crazy. Did not sleep good last night because it's just bang, bang, bang. So, like, normally if there's going to be winds, I have, like, earplugs in. But, like... Uh, you know, I was already in bed and didn't bother, and I should have bothered because it was bad. So, yeah, let me think. What else is going on? Da -da -da. Oh, okay. Che it's Chelsea, so it's not Chelsea. Chelsea, what am I saying? Is it? Oh, yeah. So Chelsea, oh, that's way easier. Thank you for that, did not know that. Okay, cool, this is cleaning up now. Yay, okay, you know how it just starts to drive you crazy because it won't clean up? Because um, then we'll make the topping and then maybe we do some pecans. Should I, no. Because I don't know if this lady I'm bringing to is allergic. I don't think she is, but I don't remember. Um, so yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, oh, I forgot to put this. This is like, so one of the, the Chelsea buns said uh, to put some sugar on top before you cook it. So I have some cinnamon sugar. We put this on like pancakes and stuff. Sorry, this is, my head's cut off. So anyway, how long have I been on? 30 minutes already? Chocolate self-saucing pudding. Yes, I need to make that. I have never made that. But can I do that in like this length of a show? Um, Chelsea buns have pink icing. Oh, I didn't know that. Are those those buns I see in the store with the pink icing? I love this show. I'm learning so much. I did not know that. So we could make pink icing to match my pink hair. Oh, oh. Um. Yeah, I really, I am still doing the dance class in the hut um, starting in April. If you want to join that, um, you can reach out to me or like, where do I have, oh, just like if you go on my Instagram, like the link in the bio, it's on there. Um, I can put it on the description for this as well. 
Yeah, Chantel and family's back in New Zealand, and we just had her on the show the last two weeks ago. Um, um, da, 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 da. Rocking the pink hair, do you like it? Yeah, it's really different. Like, it definitely makes my face um, warmer. So, I don't, I'm not sure about it, but um, whatever, who cares? It's really funny. Here's the story. So, my hairdresser is super fun, like, literally the best. We are best friends. And she's like, let's do a pink. I'm like, yeah, let's do a pink. Let's do a pink. And so, she's like, putting it in my hair and then she's rinsing it out of my hair and I'm like getting up and going back to the mirror. And then she's like, and I was like, Oh crap. I'm like on video for a living. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't even occur to me. <laughs> I didn't even think about like, like, cause I feel like that would be something I should think about. Like, do I want pink hair in my video? You know, or I meet with a lot of small business owners, you know, cause I do their marketing and like, I keep showing up to meetings like, Oh, your hair's pink. It's like, you forget. Right. So you're just like walking around. The, I'm like, Oh yeah, me. So um, I like it though. Who cares? That's the beauty of being in your forties. Nobody cares. You don't care at all. So we will see how nutmeggy these are. Um, let's see how much time we have. Oh, they look really nice guys. Like really nice. Okay. I'm actually going to do the extra two minutes. This is at 12 minutes because there's two of them in there. I forgot about that basic baking skills going on right here. Okay. So let's make the icing. Um, so this is, I'll show you how I do it. Here we go. <clears throat> so I just have powdered sugar. I didn't measure it. And you just want to put a very little bit of milk because you want it to start thick. And then that's how you decide your perfect thickness. And I put some vanilla in here because who doesn't love vanilla? Okay, so that's obviously not enough. So I just add a little bit more. I'm telling you guys, listen to me because you will add too much milk. It happens all the time, which is fine. Then you just add more powdered sugar. But like, just go light and go slow. See, look at how good this is looking. Oh, yes, this is looking excellent. And you just mix it up real good. You get those arms working. See, that's perfect. Look at this. Perfect consistency. But maybe I should do the pink icing on the other one. We'll see. So I'll put these on the pinwheel scones. And then um, maybe I'll think about the pink icing. I don't feel like making that right in a second. Um, because these will not take much longer. These are about five more minutes. And we're good. So do you normally put this on right away? Because I do normally put it on right away. I just put it right on in the pan. And then it just kind of melts down into them but wouldn't have to. Does the American milk and butter taste the same? Oh, you guys. The milk, the butter, the fruits and vegetables in New Zealand are so good. So good. I mean, you can get, you know, good stuff organically in the U.S. too, but it's just like nice when everything is organic here. You know, whatever, what, whatever your definition of that, but it's just good. Yeah, this is perfect. Boy, I'm getting good at this. Um, okay. Can you teach us how to make USA? Oh, I think you mean cupcakes. Yes, I make You know what's really good cupcakes? It's like a really good vanilla cupcake. Vanilla, like with vanilla bean. Um, it's quick and easy to make the self-saucing pudding. Okay, we're doing it then. We're doing it then. So next week I'm going to be in Palmy, so I won't be having the show then. I'm um, sorry. It's just a free show that I'm just doing for you. So, um, oh, pink icing is really good. So then I feel like when I see those in the store, it's like pink icing. And is there like some coconut on there? Um, oh, from Nepal. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, American cupcakes. Oh my gosh. Uh, what did I? Let me show you something. Let me show you. Look what I got from Costco when I was there. If you haven't watched my Costco video, you can watch it. It's not long. I don't really like doing vlogs. It takes too much effort. But this, you guys, I make a lot of brownies here, and they're very good. This, next level. 
This is like, this tastes like home. I didn't realize that home brownies tasted different than New Zealand brownies. So I never thought about it, but they do. And that one is unbelievable. And so I've taught my 11 year old how to make it because it's the American way. Dump the packet. This comes with four or six packs in it. Dump the packet, like an egg or two, um, some oil and some water. That's it. Mix, <laughs> make it, and it tastes so good. Oh my gosh. There's their ice hockey in New Zealand. Yes, I believe so. They pretty much have everything here. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, sorry, I'm going to check on. Okay, so I'm going to have to watch the Chelsea buns because they look almost done. They're starting to get a little bit brown. Um, but the other ones, I may have gone overboard on the butter. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's the fruit. So I'm not even making it right. You guys are like, are like, who is this lady? She's not even making it right. Calls for some weird thing called mixed peel. And I don't even put it in. Sorry. I didn't realize it was actually part of it. I always look at it like little dried fruit is always optional. Okay, actually, let me look at the... Oh, yeah, they're done, they're done, they're done. Here we go. These are not... Those babies are... Oh, sorry, still can't touch it. Ooh, these look good. Look at these. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Glad I haven't eaten today yet. Fantastic. Um, okay, look at this. This is like just, I just feel like you should see how perfectly golden they are. I'll probably let it cool for a minute and then I'll put the icing on. Yeah, and they worked out good even though it didn't fill up the whole pan. It was still fine. It didn't affect it. I didn't know if it would affect it. So you could put some icing in some of that if you have this. I made pancakes this weekend and they are so good. You know what? I actually made them with oat milk because I had, I was out of milk and I had a little milk. <laughs> uh, this is why. Um, and it was so good. So if you want to make really, they're really tasty. So we are going to have to do a taste test though. We're going to have to do the taste test of the, these buns over the pinwheels. And I will be as detailed as I can about the difference. How much time are we at? Ooh, I'm at 42 minutes already. I'd like to not be too long, but here we go. Golden to perfection. Yeah, so I'm gonna take one of these out and so it can cool a little bit faster. I'll just do a small one. And let me see where the other ones are. Oh yes, they have a little bit of time actually. I'm going to do two more minutes on those. Let me just check. Maybe I don't have the right time frame on that. No, 12 minutes. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, ooh, 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 that one that looks so good. Um, what syrup do you use? On your, oh, good question. I always use like the, maple, the real maple syrup. Um, yeah, but we, I had, I had the uh, golden syrup. I also have, let me show you. I have the sugar-free maple syrup. Have you ever seen this one? That's actually pretty good. I'm not a big, like too sweet. And so I like this one and it's less calories because we can all use help. We'll all use help. But yeah, maple syrup, um, we actually make them with a couple of chocolate chips in, you know, in the batter. Or I think I put, um, blueberries in mine. So, you know, we live the dream. We live the dream. We don't mess around. Yes, those are shaping up nicely. Definitely taking a bit longer. These are so perfect, you guys, like perfect bottoms. Like, look at that. So good. So yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. 
Your sounds like a concert. Yeah, it's not quiet. I was just thinking about the fact that my husband is tapping his foot um, upstairs and like, do you not know that I'm doing a show down here? Probably does. Okay, story time. I feel like telling a story. What could I tell a story about? Hmm. Yeah, so my dance class is coming up if you want to do that. Um, if you're thinking about moving to New Zealand, be in my training hub. We just had a live Q&A at 11 today, and it was so good. So many good questions. So many good connecting people. I've been really good about connecting people. Um, and then just join my free community. That's just, I, I opened up the free community because I wanted to really kind of connect all my audiences and more specifically my U.S. audience and my New Zealand because you guys are always so helpful and like you're always so helpful to me and then you know, there's a lot of people that have questions or I just think that you can be more helpful to me because you guys know more than me. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Um, yeah, you know, interesting uh, things in my life. Um, these are just true things. I, um, one of my, so I, I'm a professor by trade. I teach communication, business, marketing, that sort of thing. Um, but I quit uh, last year and I'm running uh, my digital marketing company and this, my personal brand, my YouTube and all my other things, my business off of that. And I have an Amazon business in the US. Um, so that's what I'm doing because it was just getting to be a little bit too much. Although I'm contracted back, I'm writing a small business course at the moment. So Ah, you know, but it's all fun. Um, what was my point? What was my point in saying this? Um, oh, that I started doing communication consulting again. I've had an old student reach out and she English is her second language. And like, how do I speak confidently? How do I write better and more professionally? Or And I just thought that was just really cool. And I've been working with her uh, for a couple of weeks now. And it's just really nice. Like, maybe I want to do that. You know, this is me always changing my mind. What do I want to do? You know, and because that's really my area of expertise. And we've come up with lots of cool things. And she's really a great guinea pig, really kind of to get back into it. I used to do it more um, because she's like, just really tells me this is what I actually need. I really need to do this. And they're like, that's fine. Like, I know all the things you should do. Just tell me what you actually need. And I'm a very practical person. So let's do what you actually would help for what you're doing. And so it's great. Um, that's going good. And um, the marketing stuff is going good. I'm working with some really cool clients and um, I'm connecting with some new ones um, that you might know. So I will let you know when it's an actual thing. Um, when is my next trip to the U.S.? Oh, let me check. Hold on. Super sniffer went off. The super sniffer went off. Oh, it's looking good. I just booked my trip to the U.S. and to Europe um, in June, June and July. Actually, I think I'm going to stay even longer. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good. Um, so I've never really been to Europe. I've been to the Netherlands very briefly. Oh my gosh, I'm like literally dying to try this. Okay, it's not even enough to taste. But um, so yeah, we're going to London. We're going to the UK, to France, to Italy, to Switzerland, and to Belgium. So if you know anything about those places, let me know because I don't know anything. And I've been booking this. My son's leaving for Europe in a couple of weeks and he's going to Austria. And I'm like, I don't even know how to book this train. And I'm booking the train and like, what if I don't use a leg? And I, you know, so many things I just don't know. I've never done it. So I love it. Um, and I'm just dying. I'm just dying to go. So uh, it's going to be good. My kids are so excited. And so this is why I've taken on a bunch of extra contracts. <laughs> because I got to make money to pay for this trip. Because, you know, everything's so expensive. I can't believe like how much like going to the store, gas. Petrol, sorry, is. So, oh, you did a bus tour in Europe in the 80s. Oh, my gosh. I'm from, what's uh, what's my, I'm from Wisconsin. So, I'll be in Wisconsin because we'll end up only being able to do 10 days there. And then I'm going to stay. And anyway, everything's kind of up in the air because my son was going to go to university there. And I was going to do all that. But I don't know if he's going. Anyway, everything's welcome to teenagers. That's all I got to say. Oh, it's 
So see what I'm saying? This is not going off. Like I set it for two minutes and it hasn't gone off. Like what is going on with that? Um, they look really good, but I think I put too much butter. So don't do that much butter. <laughs> don't do what I did. Uh, what's cooking? We are making Chelsea buns and pinwheel scones, which are taking a bit longer than anticipated. So um, you can put the dried fruit and the mixed peel also in the Chelsea buns. Uh, that's what it says. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to kind of try them. Because one, because I just really like bread that has, you know, yeast that was risen. It's just like that lighter um, taste. But now, but the, the, but the pinwheel scones are something you can just like do and have and make and you're done. I did it. I, why didn't I do the, um, uh, what was it? What do you got? The cinnamon scrolls. I was, I was looking at the cinnamon scroll. There's a reason. There was a reason why I didn't do the cinnamon scrolls. And what was it? I think actually that was more in the beginning. Um, I think that was page 14. Yeah. Cinnamon scrolls. Um, Oh, because overnight, like I had to make it and have it sit overnight. That's why. <laughs> well, I'm going to trip it is. Yes. Yes. Um, yep. You're going to have to fight my kids for them probably, but you'd probably win. Here we go. Okay. I would say like 30 more seconds and we're there. We haven't done any dance party. Dance party. Are we ready for the dance party? Mm -hmm. I should have like music playing. I really miss Chantel. Like, it would be really nice to have Chantel here. So why does my phone keep buzzing? Do they not know that I'm live? Okay, this is going to be a whole hour episode, but I hope it's worth it. Um, what's my favorite sport? Ooh, dancing. Does that count? It does. It counts. Uh, I love a lot of sports, but dancing, soccer would probably be my number two. I mean, sorry, football would be my number two. Volleyball, number three. Um... Playing sports. These are sports I play. Ultimate Frisbee. I love Ultimate Frisbee. Um, watching sports. Love watching basketball. And American football. I like American sports. Sorry. Sorry about it. Didn't go to the cricket matches. My son was there, but I did not go. Uh, I was too busy. I'm trying to work to pay for Europe. Oh, I think these look good, guys. Gals, all right, pull it out. Here we go. Perfection. All right, I'm not going to turn off the oven yet. Oh, look at this, you guys. Look, 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 look. I think you're coming to Wellington. Okay, so let me just, I just want to take one out, make sure the bottom is done. Oh, oh. Do you see it? It's like that perfect golden is perfect. Do I have the super sniffer for exactly when something's done? I do. I do. And um, it's for hire. If you want me to come and make sure that you cook things long enough, I can do that for you. All right. So here's the ultimate taste test. Here we go. So this one's going to be warm. Oh, well, we don't want to keep this too long. So this is the pinwheel scone. This is the Chelsea bun. I'll put a little bit of this on here because... We're not crazy. Got to have sugar on top of sugar, right? Okay. So I will cut this one and I will cut this one and I will cut that again. And we'll get a one with really good. And then you can watch me. Okay. So this is, I'm going to go with the Chelsea bun first because it's not as hot. Mm. Okay. Mm, that's good. It has that really nice light. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a lot of nutmeg. <laughs> good call. <laughs> okay. Wow. The cinnamon scroll, or what, sorry. Pinwheel, whatever. Scone. Ooh, that's really good, too. Oh, that turned out really nice. This is a pinwheel scone. Look at the, look at how nice that turned out. Now, what would you drink this with? Because I would drink this with a large glass of milk. Nothing else. Something cold. 
I mean, of course you could have coffee, but I only have one cup a day. Oh, okay. So which one do I like better? Boy, that's hard. It's a little bit hard because this pinwheel one is really hot with soda. It's not like my husband. I love that. Um, I think I like the Chelsea buns the best. Now I wish I would have put in those, that, whatever that fruit peel or mixed peel or whatever it's called. Because I've been curious to try that. Oh, well, I guess got to make it again. Oh. Oh, I don't know. This Chelsea, this, I would just say I'm really impressed with the the moistness and flakiness of the pinwheel scone for something that doesn't have to rise and can be quite quick, although it took a bit in my oven, but it's probably because there's two items in there. I mean, there was a lot more of them. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoy the episode. It's just so good. Mm. Mm. Make them tonight. You won't regret it. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks.